prophetic dream, seraphim will assist Christ's ecclesia to do God's will. I recently had a dream about the seraphim order of angels. They are the highest ranking angels we know of and are being referenced by Holy Spirit in this current season. These are incredibly powerful beings and carry the delegated authority of the Godhead. The Holy Spirit has given me further insight concerning the seraphim and how they are assisting Christ's ecclesia. In Luke 19:13, Jesus says, Occupy until I come. Occupy is the Greek word pragmachoume, and it means to take care of business. The ecclesia is to take care of kingdom business by extending Christ's kingdom government into the earth. The Holy Spirit is equipping us to accomplish this and activating angel armies to assist us. In the dream concerning seraphim, I was handed a large key ring with many keys of assorted colors and sizes. A seraph said to me, these keys do not work by hand. They are activated by voice decrees. While praying about this, I remembered Christ's own words concerning his ecclesia. Matthew 16 18-19 states that help will not be able to hold out against the church. The king's ecclesia is being built and prepared to be a church that will not be overpowered by the strategies of hell. In these verses, Jesus also said he would give us kingdom keys to open or close doors. Seraphim help us use those keys to gain access to new times, seasons and eras. Additionally, these powerful beings assist us by empowering our decrees to govern spiritually on earth, enforcing the victory of Calvary. The Chamberlain of God's governmental authority the keys Jesus was referring to symbolize the governmental authority of his kingdom. The Ecclesia is part of a spiritual kingdom government that is to influence the natural realm, including governments. Kingdom keys are first mentioned in Isaiah 22:22. 22, 22 which references the responsibility and authority of chamberlains, I'll explain them in a moment. The verse says, I will set the key of the house of David on his shoulder, when he opens no one will shut, when he shuts no one will open. In Matthew 16, Jesus connects his ecclesia to this passage, and there is great significance in that. In Isaiah 22, two chamberlains are mentioned. One of them, Shebna, pictures Satan, and Eliakim represents Christ. It is important to understand why Jesus tied a statement concerning his ecclesia to a 700-year-old prophecy. The Chamberlain was the chief operating officer for a king and his kingdom, the highest-ranking executive other than the king himself. He managed everything for the king and carried the keys to the kingdom. A hook or ring was sewn into the shoulder of his robe of authority. The ring of keys could be up to a foot long and would hang from the chamberlain's shoulder. These keys obviously picture authority. It was said of chamberlains that the government was upon their shoulders. This is what was meant when Holy Spirit prophesied in Isaiah 9 6 that our kingdom government would be upon the shoulder of Jesus. Among the keys that the chamberlain carried were keys to the king's house, his bedroom, the royal court, the judge's chambers and the kingdom treasury. He was the doorkeeper and held the power to lock and unlock the doors. The prophetic account of Isaiah 22 pictures Satan, Christ, and his kingdom. Shebna was a kingdom chamberlain that was rebellious and abused his authority. The prophecy said his authority would be stripped from him and given to Iliakim. Iliakim would receive the keys and governing authority would then be carried on his shoulder. Since Jesus is in the royal lineage of David, this prophetic picture is fulfilled perfectly. While he didn't sit on David's throne in the natural realm, he sat down on a throne at the right hand of God in heaven as King of kings and Lord of lords. But not before he stripped Lucifer of his authority and took back all the keys, even the keys of death, hell, and the grave. The government is upon our king's shoulder, and all authority has been given to him, in heaven and on earth. We are moving into supernatural times. The revelation that we carry the master's keys is increasing, and that is a game changer.